Sabah everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you nine different case designs specifically made for our Galaxy Note 9. Let's go ahead and check them out. So here I have all nine cases. Um, I have four of the cases that have somewhat of a clear back, so there's an accent either or a different uh, type of texture. Uh, we have two different leather ones with different accents as well as a, basically a, just a soft TPU case. I also have two different cases here from Tudia, and this is the Merge and the Lin. All the other cases are made by VRS Design, as you can see. Now, between these two, they're pretty much the same. I'm going to go directly with the blue one, mostly because it matches my design. And we'll go here, and it looks like we do need to separate it. So we'll go ahead and put one, one. And then once you do, do that, you can actually put in the accent color. And this is really more of an accent color. And the really cool thing about this is that they have multiple colors that you can select from and go from. Uh, just make sure that it goes all the way on the top and all the way at the bottom so that it actually has that nice fit. Um, other than that, I think you're pretty much done. You'll notice right there it has that nice coloring. It matches the color of my device. So you have that blue on blue. And this one is a little bit more of a glossy blue. Although the grip here is nice. There's a textured grip on the side with buttons uh, for everything. Basically the Bixby volume rocker, access to the volume, you know, obviously the fingerprint sensor. Uh, the main thing I want to keep in mind here as well is that there's a little bit of a groove and this is raised so it does protect the optics here on the camera on the back. Uh, an opening for the microphone at the top, an opening for the other one at the bottom, S Pen, USB-C and headphone jack and of course the front of it is entirely uncovered. Quick wireless charging test, we will go ahead and put it on here, give it a second, sure enough we get that indicator. So it looks really nice. Uh, I like the design on this one. Uh, so this is again, just as more of an accent color. There is other ones and um, this one is more mocha depending on the color of the phone that you got. But if you have a blue one like me, definitely this one. Now the crystal fit has more ridges in the back uh, and it also has that little bit of a red uh, VRS design sign at the bottom here. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And this is just a single snap on. You just put it on and then you're pretty much set. Uh, the best way to do this is actually, it looks like you need to put it at the bottom first and then glide it on the top. This one is actually pretty good. It's pretty fitted. It's very much a very nice fitted uh, and it looks really nice since you can actually see your device. Uh, the one thing I want to keep in mind is these ridges are not, you know, they're not making it very hard to slip. It's actually very nice. It's grippy. Uh, all the buttons, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, this just feels a little bit thinner. Now, if you want to look from a sense of uh, kind of a fitting on the case, this is really meant to say fit. Here we still have that little groove that gets us into the actual sensor and of course uh, access to it. There is a very, very minimal raise at the top here where the raising here, the lip on the top here is much more pronounced. Of course, this being a slightly thinner case should be very easily you know, wireless charging should be pretty simple. Yeah, pretty easy. This is the Chrome and for the most part, the Chrome is kind of like in between these two cases. It's thicker than the fit, but it's uh, basically just a little bit thinner than the bumper. And it also is one piece, so you don't have to worry about clicking anything else. So very simple, very easy, nice little kind of a, you know, a silver uh, lining here on the side. You can still see your device, all the buttons, everything works great. Sure enough. Overall, between the three, I think this one looks pretty nice. Uh, I like the thin fit on this one. Even though it has the ridges on the back, I think it really just gives you that really nice, super thin. It doesn't add too much bulk to the case, to the device. But if you want the maximum protection, the bumper one's gonna be the best. Even though it has the accent color, it looks and it works the best. Now, both cases offer different types of grip. This one has more of a very smooth backing, and this one has more of a grippy feel. Uh, they're both obviously colored. There's no clear uh, casing here and very easy to fit the buttons everything is pretty much exposed i feel like this one has a slight raised yeah so it has a little bit of a, a lip here and of course access to the fingerprint sensor although we don't have a slant there um, and of course you get these ridges on the right side on the left side all the opening work great uh, wireless charging no doubt should work perfectly here we are and of course uh right here should be pretty much the same again th this is going to be more personal preference uh, the black one and actually even the gray one are both very thin. Uh, they're not super thick like the bumper that we saw with VRS. But here I think this design looks a little bit better if you look at it kind of just from the aesthetics. Now it has some grips on the side but not on the back. So it's soft on the back but it definitely has some grips on the side for when you're holding it. Uh, of course opening for everything. Everything is set up correctly. And of course last but not least why not we'll try wireless charging. 
and of course that works perfectly fine. Uh, so between the two, I think these are definitely very nice cases if you want thin and definitely either just textured or straight smooth backing, uh, you're not going to be disappointed with either the Lin or the Merge from Tudia. Now between the two here, obviously they're both pretty much the same. These are the leather, the PU leather. We have a magnetic clip that covers the device, we have a casing, the leather is all around. We have a slot for three credit cards as well as some paper currency and of course your phone. Uh, this will fit and will cover your device between the front and the back actually so that's one of the main benefits Of course, it has a very nice grippy feel right there Closing it just gives you access to the top connections as far as the power button here and all the buttons at the bottom And opening at the top for listening and actually answering calls and since the microphones are exposed You don't have any problem if you want to access the volume rockers up and down. They are accessible here You can hear them but the only thing is that you can't see them and other than that i think between these two you either go with the either slightly more of a leather feel or the more of a reddish tint here but they both will give you really good access uh, fingerprint scanner everything access access to the s pen all of that good stuff looks really nice and sure enough wireless there this is going to be their thinnest case and of course the single fit one piece connection this is very similar to the one we saw before uh, it's just this one is not a clear one and i think it just really looks very nice uh, this has still the red coloring option here the slightly slanted fingerprint sensor the power button all of the stuff that we have at the top and at the bottom uh, of course this is really really good let's go ahead and check out wireless charging give it in it should be pretty simple and sure enough, it works. All the cases that I showed you guys here will definitely be linked in the description below. I wanna say thank you very much to VRS Design as well as Tudia for providing me these cases to be able to share with you guys different ways of customizing your brand new Galaxy Note 9. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know in the comments below. All of these cases will work great on your device. The question is, which one is the right one for you? I'll see you guys in the next video.